We're just getting some new headlines that Moderna's booster shot works well against variants. This is part of your mid-stage booster trial. How important is this news? You know, I think that it's, it's, it's very significant because every version of products that we can advance and show efficacy and safety in is ultimately tied to saving lives. And as the virus changes its uh, uh, tactics, its uh, uh, stripes, if you will, through mutations, so that we have a harder time with our immune systems necessarily identifying it and targeting it, so should our vaccines respond a step ahead and boost our immune system's ability to tackle the threat. And so, you know, when we say threat, we think it's one threat, but it turns out it's many threats now because it's diversifying. And so our vaccines have to deal with that. And I think for the first time, we've shown yet again, as we did a year ago, rough, roughly around now in, in early May, for the very first time, an mRNA vaccine against COVID. The data, Moderna's data, I'm proud to say was the first, and it really led the way to others who followed with RNA technology. Same here. I think it's a, it's a first in that the booster both is showing what a, an increased immune response to the existing vaccine accomplishes against variants, but also what the variant vaccine-based booster does to the variants. And, and it bodes well because just as this data is going to be coming out, we also are seeing strains in India that seem even more ominous than the South African one. And so the question will be, how is that going to fare against these new boosters? Do we need another booster? And look, lest people think that we're going to be stuck in this battle for a long time, we are going to be stuck in this battle for a long time, but at least now we have a weapon to deal with it. Imagine being in that battle for decades as the virus is changing with just our getting sick and developing an immune response protecting us. That's a much worse state of affairs. So does that mean we're going to need a third booster or even a fourth booster, or is this going to be combined in an annual shot that we get next year? Um, we are, of course, thinking ahead. We're planning for what might be needed and preparing to not need it if that's the case. I mean, we, we can't do the opposite. We can't start planning when we already, and we just did that a year ago. Uh, nobody was prepared, and we were fortunate to have a platform that was prepared unknowingly that could deal with this, but we don't want to be in that situation again. So yes, we think that it's safe to assume and be ready for a booster shot we don't even know yet when immunity starts waning. We're following that. We put out data showing six months, probably just fine. Nine months, you know, kind of still fine. But we don't know. Is nine months, 12 months? And by the way, again, we're thinking of a, an average person. Well, an average person comprises somebody whose immunity goes down much more quickly based on other diseases, drugs they may be taking, treatments, and others who may have immunity for two years. We just don't know that that distribution is going to reveal itself once we start looking at hundreds of thousands of, of people's worth of data. But I think a booster is safe to assume, perhaps later this year, being important to have. Uh, whether you need a second one or a different one, depending on what viral threats we're counting, we have to see. And then your point very appropriately is we think where this is going to head, potentially, is that we have a combination of a flu and a coronavirus a vaccine booster. That's a seasonal thing that just covers particularly the most vulnerable, let's say the older population, comorbidity population, and potentially a broader group of people. By the way, while we're at it, the same mRNA technology will also, I suspect, be involved in going after flu with a vengeance. Because the notion that we came into 2020 being okay that some, vac some seasonal vaccines work 40%, 50% efficacious, some 20%, depending on the season, uh, we should not accept that. We know the science and the tools exist to do better, and we should strive to do better. And certainly Moderna is well on its path to developing that kind of a vaccine.